No, the real relationship between her daughter and the suspect, Davian Brown. She says that the two never dated and Han had been receiving threats. News Channel 15's Sarah Schaefer joins us now from Ravenscroft with more on this. Sarah. I talked to Patricia Hahn's mother today, and she was also there. They were both on the phone. They didn't want to meet or be on camera. They just wanted to get out what they say is the truth. The day after Davian Brown came into Ravenscroft and opened fire, employees are still at a loss. Our biggest concern with not being there was, you know, our people that we know. Safe. They later find out the target was their co-worker and friend Patricia Hahn. Her friends, family and co-workers say Brown had a violent history with Patricia and had threatened her. Everybody knew who he was. When we knew it was Patricia was the one that was hurt, everybody knew who did it. She said that they were friends and he always wanted more, but she always declined. They say that's what led to the threats, even schedule changes. Patricia moved to night so she wouldn't see Brown. The security guard is only there during the day. Brown shouldn't have been there last night. Her mother confirmed the two never dated. Employees are upset they didn't know Brown was a convicted felon. And I realize that in the world that we live in now, unfortunately these things happen, um, but I feel like Maybe this could have been prevented. And the close group of co-workers are now afraid to go back. Everything today is extremely emotional. Um, I mean, relief that she is going to be okay because she does have six children at home. But at the same time, just completely heartbroken that people there that just want an education and studying don't feel safe. I feel like the school is responsible. I feel like they knew. I feel like they should have done something more to help her. I think it could all been prevented. I have reached out to Ravenscroft and haven't heard back yet. We will keep trying, but in the meantime, News Channel 15's Kelly Roberts has more on Brown's history with the law. Yeah, that's right. The man identified as the shooter, 24-year-old Davian Brown, did have a criminal past. According to Allen County Court filings, he had previously been convicted of two counts of robbery and sentenced to four years in prison. He was released in April 2014. Police say Brown went into the school looking for Patricia Hahn last Last night, she was shot up to at least nine times, and another victim, 20-year-old Alyssa Spade, was shot at least once. Brown found Han in a break room and started shooting. It's said that Mr. Brown actually fired until he was out of ammunition in this area, and while reloading, he um, gave Miss Han the opportunity to leave that area running. He followed her, continued to shoot. Brown was found dead inside the school with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Spade has been released from the hospital and Han's condition is improving, but she remains in the hospital. A backpack of Brown's was found at the scene. Inside there was more ammunition, a knife and a BB gun. Reporting live on the city's northeast side, Kelly Roberts, News Channel 15.